How do you want to feel and who do you want to be and what do you want to experience in your relationship? That's the goal. And we're going to do it reverse engineered. It's about you and what you want so you can establish frequency. It's not your thinking mind, but it's tuning in, connecting to your heart space. So you're establishing frequency and holding that frequency and attracting that into you. The more often we reconnect to self, establish that frequency, put that frequency out strongly, the sooner we'll get that in. It's kind of like, if you get in the car and you have the radio playing all the time, the signal's coming in all the time, and the station's playing all the time. If you only get in the car and turn the radio on and dial it in once a month, you're only pulling the signal in once a month. So we want to pull the signal in more frequently because we want to manifest it faster. So the more we pull the signal in, the more we put the frequency out, the more we pull that signal in. So there's really no limit to how often you can do this. And what I actually suggested to someone who I had a, a conversation with today was that every time they've had a limiting belief come up about something they can't do is to do this with that. If it was about work, go to three weeks from now won't work to be this way. Two weeks from now won't work to be this way. One week this way that, you know, take that limited belief reverse engineer it and, and um, extrapolate out a bit and come in with it. And just, you don't have to have your eyes closed. You don't, you can do it while you're working. And then that way you're feeling the energy of it. You're, you're feeling it because you're there on the job. So your, your passions about it are, are the, the juices are flowing, so to speak. <laughs> you're marinating in it. So, um, so if it's about your relationship and, and the emotions are flowing, um, and if it's about something you want to do, like um, if you're wanting to go on vacation, looking at vacation photos, that kind of thing, you know, that helps get those going. If it's um, and anything that releases endorphins helps with this. That's why walking, dancing, being outside in nature, anytime we release endorphins, the body doesn't know the difference between really doing something and not doing something. So anytime we put ourselves in a state of high endorphins and we start thinking about something and envisioning it, it's like we're really doing it. So energy that we put out, it's more and more real. So that's, that's a higher, more intense frequency we're putting out. So it's like, <laughs> remember how hard it used to be to turn, tune in a radio station and then we got XM radio? It's like going XM. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's, um, so that's what I would say about that. So close your eyes and sit with your, um, chakra system straight or lie with it straight. Let's sink into our heart space to the white light that is us. And our heart space is where our frequency is. That white light is us. It contains all the hues of light that come out like a kaleidoscope in the crystalline grid beneath our feet in the earth star chakra and give us the various frequencies for the various timelines, our job, our friendships, our intimate relationships the various things that we're giving our energetic bandwidth to. So we want to tune in now to a particular relationship. And we can do this for any kind of relationship, work, any, any kind. So pick any kind and tune in. And as you're breathing in, we're going to call all of our energy back to ourselves in this relationship and give all of their energy back to them because that's how relationship is. It's not expectation and it's not working on each other's energy, but it's, this is me. This is how I show up. And that's you in frequency. And it's them. This is how they show up. And the goal is to be in a flow state. That's unconditional love. Not giving each other a list of conditions that's showing up 
because you meet the conditions to be in one another's energetic bandwidth, you meet the role. You're not coming to create yourself to fill the role. You already meet the role. You already fill the spot. You don't change yourself for it. You fit already. You're attracted in. Or they're attracted into you. So as we have the quantum light now, the ultraviolet light, blue, violet, surround us and raise our frequency to the highest frequency possible for us and for this relationship. Whatever it is, maybe it's someone we're already with or maybe it's a generic, we don't have the relationship yet, but we know we want it. So we feel into the heart space. We feel ourselves connecting all the way up our two natures of energy being balanced, acting and allowing. We feel this chakra system protected, surrounded by the white light, the violet and the blue light. We feel it opening up quantumly, our higher self opening it up. Undoing all quantum entanglements that are blocking, resisting what we are asking for and about. Knowing what it needs to be removed from our energetic bandwidth any healing, progressing changes we need to make. I see the white light, the gold light coming in as we connect up and up and up. And these keys and codes and activations, as some like to call them, this information, there's a little light coming down. It comes down as white, golden light, wisdom, information. It'll come to our heart space because our chakra system is pure and open. We get the transmission, however you receive it, whether you journal, free write, clairaudient, clairvoyant, how, however source talks to you. You'll know what to do to have the energetic bandwidth for this. Your chakra system's being made ready for it, calibrated, cleansed, cleared, perfectly aligned and attuned. And you have the energetic hit. Now again, maybe you know or have an idea who the person is. Maybe this is already an existing relationship or maybe it's about a job. So we're going to talk kind of generically, but let's reach out as far as a week. How do you want to feel in this relationship? What do you want it to feel like? Let's don't be generic. Let's don't say something like, oh, I'm going to feel happy. Well, okay, that's a good starting point. But what's happy? What's happy in this relationship? There comes the bright white light. Purity of heart. Purity of heart. wanting to know how do you want to feel confident respected if it's if it's with a person if it's not job if you would feel loved feel liked at least so see yourself in this relationship how are you being talked to what kind of things are being said to you who's around you or what kind of people are around you how are you dressed how are you acting see yourself look at yourself see your smile or your professionalism or your flirtiness see whatever whatever it is that you're wanting to see see it in you feel it a week out from now what are you being 
Are you being in a new position? Are you being, in your case, in our case, in great relationships? Fantastic relationships. Solid, stable relationships. There's no guesswork. No wondering, what did that mean? But where communication is clear. Not where you have to think about everything you say, but you just say things the way you say them. You're just being yourself and you're relaxed. Things are just easy and comfortable, but not boring. They're fun and they're new. It's new experience. It's not the same old thing. And it's not new in a tense, oh my God, I don't know about this way, but new in an exciting way, a fun, relaxed, fun way. New in a, yeah, I want to do this way. <laughs> you can feel the love coming in, the warmth coming around. It feels like that. It feels like love. It feels happy. It feels safe. It feels like a good place to be. A good place to go forward from. A good place to just enjoy. It doesn't feel like a place where there's games or something to figure out. It feels like it is what it is. And half a week away, like three days, four days away. How do you want to feel? Pretty, wanted, desired, liked, confident. things do you want to hear said to you? How do you want to be? What kind of places do you want to go? See the light come in. <clears throat> Feel your place. Feel yourself in your heart at those places. See yourself at those kinds of places. Maybe it's the movies. Maybe it's a museum. Maybe it's a place you've never been before. Maybe it's horse races or I don't know, wherever you've never been. But it's not scary. It's comfortable. And it's exciting in that I can't believe I'm doing this and this is so much fun kind of way. It's that feeling of I'm young again and life is just getting started again feeling. And it's not that fleeting kind, it's that kind that you really can hold on to. It's not illusion or delusion, but it's, it's a foundation. You're really creating a truth for yourself. You know just what to say, just how to dress, just how to act. There's no guessing, because you're just being you. And the person lights up when they see you, and you light up when you see them. You're not lighting up because they light up. You light up because you just light up. So there comes the light. What do you want in a day? Want a day? You'd like to know that all of this is real. You'd like to know you're rested. You're confident in yourself. 
confident in everything around you. And you've got clarity of things. And you've got the right energetic bandwidth. You've got everything in your life. You're in the right order. You're in frequency. You can feel it. You're being the highest vibration of you you can be. You feel totally attuned and you know you're getting getting the messages. You feel confident about, about your interaction with you, one whole complete life being. You feel solid about you, about your communication with yourself. No guessing, you know. This is who I am. I'm this person. And I like this. And I want to be treated this way. And I want to be talked to that way. And this is how I like to do things. And this is how I like to dress. And I've never been to that place before. I want to go there. And I've never acted that way before. And I want to act that way at least once before. Well, well maybe a bunch of times. And, and wow, here's a whole list of things I've never done. I want to try some of those. And so, yeah. That's the way you want to be a day from now. You want to experience a day from now is, is excitement about what's coming up. Because whether it's somebody you already know or somebody new coming into your life, you've, you see where you're headed. You're expanding your consciousness and you're going to have a relationship like you've never had before. You're going to do something you've never done before. You're not the same old loop, not the same old way. Not, none of that. Higher vibrational than ever. In the bandwidth of love. Understanding what's happening. With somebody who's in resonant energy with you. In flow. You're going to use your voice and you're going to feel confident doing it. And it's just going to be beautiful. You're just going to be you. And you're just going to attract in somebody who wants you. And they've attracted you in. And so it, it's just flow. You want to know that you know that you know that that's how it is. And, and so you're getting all excited about it. And you're thinking about what you're going to do with that. And and letting source guide you opening up the bandwidth or doing whatever it is you need to do you're just being open to oh okay we need to do that all right let's do it oh we don't need to do anything okay well let's don't and just know just know yeah i was gonna do that oh don't go there okay all right we won't zig okay we'll zig zag we'll zag I've never zagzagged before, but okay, we'll zagzag. Whatever your guidance is, you know it's you're expanding consciousness in a whole new way, high vibrational, and you don't have to worry about figuring it out because your heart is guiding you. And it's an adventure with parameters of unconditional love, so it's safe. It's safe. You are love. Stay in your frequency and you're safe. When there's something shiny over there, but it's not in your frequency, mm, it doesn't look that good. I've already expanded consciousness that way. I remember what that was like. <laughs> I won't do that again. <laughs> I'm not going to let that in my energetic bandwidth. And it's not going to get in there because you're one with yourself and your higher self is guiding you. And you know it. You know it. That's how tomorrow's going to be. You know who you are. You're going to know what to do exactly what to do. How to be you. Just you so that your life flows exactly like it should. So two days from now, 
you're well on that path to the third day and three days from now, maybe you get everything you wanted before three days. Maybe it comes early. Maybe you get that weak stuff in four days. Maybe you, know, you can always get this or better. <laughs> You're not going to limit the universe to anything. Maybe your frequency is so strong. Maybe your XM radio dial is so good, you dial it in sooner. You can take that. And yes, there'll be moments when the thinking mind will kick in and say, what are you doing? Phone hasn't rang. Nothing's different. Then that air conditioner just make a funny noise. The cat's missing. What's that on the sidewalk or something? Something. And that's when you go back to the light. And there comes the light. And you say, no. That's how I used to think. But I'm in frequency now. And I know that everything. I have ultraviolet light around me too. Everything comes in and gets transmuted for my best and highest good. So whatever that noise was, best and highest good. Yeah, we may have done some version of this before, but we're not back in an old loop because we're expanding consciousness and we're doing it beautifully. And I don't need to repeat old patterns. feel the chakra system fortifying itself. Feel the violet light, and the blue light, and the white light. And you know that you are love, and you are loved, and you are quantum. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is.